Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss some of the questions that were asked to me in uh, phone pay company for uh, data analyst position in September 2024. So these questions are more or less related to join and uh, these questions are for those people who are uh, either at the beginner phase or more of intermediate phase uh, uh, for the join. In case you feel like you have good understanding of join, then definitely I will recommend you to pause the video from the time to time and then to test the knowledge that you have uh, based on the solution that I'm proposing. Okay. So uh, the, the first question was more of a warm up question. They wanted to understand what is left join and can you write it syntax? So this is a very pretty standard question that you can expect in any of the interview that you will come uh, going through for the SQL. Uh, so as you know that there are four types of join. Uh, there is a left join, right join, uh, inner join and full join. Okay. Uh, so I mean, when I will talk about the left join, it means that it takes all the values from the left table and uh, it only takes the common values from the right table okay so that's why it is called left join in the right join the situation is just vice versa it takes all the values from the right table but only the common values from the left table in case of the inner join it takes only those values which are present in both the tables okay uh, so basically it will take only the common cases uh, and for the full join, it will take all the values from both the table, irrespective of if there is present in one table or both the tables. Okay. So syntax of the left join is very simple. So firstly, what we do is firstly, we write the name of the column that we want to pick. And then we write the name of the uh, left table, which is table one in this case. And then we write uh, left join. Uh, it will change. If you like, if you're performing right join, then you'll write right here, right join. Uh, if you are performing inner join, then you will write here inner join. Uh, same is okay. Then you will write the name of the uh, right table that is table two in this case, and then you will write the condition of the joining condition. Okay. So basically, uh, in this case, I want to perform join when uh, the key is matching. So that's why I have user equal sign here. So just to give you example on this, suppose there is a left table which is table one, and uh, it has ID in the name of the people and you know in the right table we have id and their states so basically id is our joining key and we want to bring id name and state in the uh, join okay so basically uh, what we, it will do is firstly to take all the values from the left table that is the case in this case if you see the one two three and john monica and sheldon are present here and uh, from the right table, it will only take the cases where, I mean, it is founding a match. So suppose uh, for the three, as you can see that there is no value in the right table. That's why it has kept it blank because the state is coming from the right table. Now, if you see that four is not present okay, in the join because it is just present in the right table. And that's why. Now, let's talk about the question number two. Question number two was to understand uh, join how if you can perform on the multiple conditions or not okay so there are different conditions on which join can be performed suppose uh, in this case they wanted to understand if suppose there are two tables and there are uh, two joining key and we want to join uh, the both the tables in a manner that if either of the key is matching then it should perform the join so basically if you're saying that suppose there is a roll number and its friend name in the two tables and you want to match the data if either roll number or num na name is matched. Okay, so suppose in some cases, suppose you have someone has kept roll number uh, null because it is unassigned, etc. So in that case, this can be used. So the syntax is very simple. It will remain standard up till here where you have write the name of the join. Then you will write the condition and the condition you will write both the keys. Okay. I am referring T1, Q1 because uh, Q1 is coming from the T1. Again, T2, Q2, uh, Q1 because I am referring to the key that is coming from the table 2. And then I have used OR because I wanted to uh, match if any of the joining condition is matching. Okay. In case you want to perform join where you want to only show results uh, if the both the keys are matching, then you will use AND because in AND, if both the uh, conditions are satisfied, then only it gives us two value. In case of or, if either of the conditions are matching, then it will give us true value. Now, this was the question number two. Question number three is, they wanted to understand if suppose there are duplicate values in the key, 
how many values will be there in the join so suppose in this case if you will see that 101 is repeating two times and 102 and 103 is one time only in this case the same so what happens is when we are performing join it will multiply okay so suppose 102 is coming both the tables once only so it will come for the one time only same goes for the 103 but in case of 101 since it is appearing for the two times it will multiply it by two times because it is present here two times and here as well so 2 into 2 4 so that's how it is appearing okay and uh, if you want to understand why it is happening logically uh, the concept is very simple firstly it will look for this value okay for 101 when it will perform join then it will find two values it will just keep both the values here so if you see for the key one it has uh, put all both the values again it will perform join for 101 and it will find two values so it will keep this so this is how it is performed okay uh so the question number 4 was a bit interesting so because as you have seen in the question number 3 that the numbers multiplies so does it happen in the case of the null as well suppose uh in the both the tables there are nulls okay and you want to perform join so will it multiply no okay and this was the question where i was i mean bit confused in the interview uh so suppose there is a table 1 which has product id and product name in the table 2 we have product id order id and customer name and we want to join both the tables this is on the product id so if you see in the product id we have a null value here okay and we are we are performing left join so generally whenever it is applying a left join or any kind of join so basically it does not consider null to be a value okay so it it doesn't mean that if there is a null in one table and uh, there are two nulls in the second table it will multiply it and bring it two nulls no this is not how it works it will simply say that okay i'm not finding a match for this well okay so let's see the result so basically what it has done is it has bring all the values from the table uh, luck table and then it has only brought where it is sounding match so in case of null it is saying that hey there is no value present in the second table so that's all guys in this video uh, i hope this video was well helpful to you in case you like this video please hit a like button and uh, subscribe to this channel for the future content uh, and thank you for watching this video till the end i hope you find it helpful please let me know in the comment section if the question of a beginner phase or even intermediate phase or if you found something uh, useful from here so thank you so much uh, uh, let's connect in the uh, next video